In this video, we're going to talk about the characteristics of useful information. If our information is not useful, it probably is not the best to be using for decision making in our company. So there's actually quite a few of these uh, characteristics, but they are all pretty helpful and independent in their own way. So to help describe some of these, sometimes it's more useful to talk about information or characteristics or types of data that does not meet that characteristic. So I'll kind of present that. So let's say we're using, we want to make um, a decision of which customers we might want to extend more credit to if we're selling on account. So let's keep that in mind as we go through this. So one of the reports we would be using and would be relevant to use our first characteristic is an accounts receivable aging report. So it's pertinent to the decision is probably the first type of typical report we would return to. And in the end, by having relevant information, we're reducing uncertainty and thus improving decision making. Information that is not relevant would be how much do we owe vendors? Because vendors are not the same as customers, that really isn't relevant. Probably weather patterns are not relevant as well. So things that we would not need to know that would just kind of make the data more cloudy would be not relevant. Accurate, so obviously this is exactly what it sounds like. It is, do we have errors in there? So if we found an error that the report didn't total right or had a wrong balance for a customer, it would not be accurate. So that one is, as I said, more self-explanatory. Complete. Everything's there. Short and sweet. So if we were missing a customer or a customer type, those would, that would be uh, an incomplete report. Timely, if I didn't get the report for 30 days uh, or got the report 30 days ago, from 30 days ago to make the decision today, we would not have timely information. Consistent, a, re a report would be inconsistent if it changed formats every month or it looked different every time. Users like consistent formats um, and it also keeps things simpler. Otherwise, you're also adding to that cognitive or information overload. Uh, so you wanna keep things as consistent as possible. Understandable. So we wanna make sure our accounts receivable agent report is in a way that most people look at, look for it. So on a typical aging report, you have the customer, you have the total balance, and then you have the balance broken down by current 30 plus, uh, 30 to 60 days, 60 to 90, 90 plus perhaps. Um, that is how most accountants would re, uh, look for that. If it's not making sense or you don't have things labeled usefully, that would help, that would be going against understandable. Verifiable. So two knowledgeable people working separately would produce the same information or pretty much come up with the same result. So two people looking at the customer data would create the aging receivable or the aging report in the same manner. Available kind of like it sounds like, that a user can access that data when they need it and in a format that they need. So probably, you know, if the system's down and they can't access it, then it's not available. Access restricted. So as a credit manager, I should have access to the report, but somebody working in payroll really does not need an accounts receivable report. So only those individuals that should have customer information in this case should have access to it. Objective, what we're looking for is something that doesn't have any bias. Um, you know, 
our favorite customers are put at the top. Uh, the order is not in a logical, but some way biased or certain customers are missing for the sake of um, slanting the report. So if I took out all the customers that had balances over 90 days, that would be not only incomplete, but if it was done intentionally to try to distort the information, then it would not be objective either. So just anything that would change somebody's opinion, um, and it's not just an oversight. So access restricted, I think we actually had that one on the previous slide, sorry about this. Yeah, so that one's actually mistakenly on there twice. Uh, reputable, is it coming from a credible source? Uh, so think about what you learned when working with the library, what's a credible source, same thing. Uh, data coming from an ERP system is probably more credible and reliable than, um, you know, somebody writing, you know, some manual records or uh, slips of paper. So uh, just thinking about where that data is coming from. Concise, so this is clear, concinct, and succinct. So think about it this way. If I'm looking for to expand credit to certain customers, I probably only want my current customers. If I have a list and add every customer who's bought anything and hasn't now currently hasn't bought anything for the last few years, um, those could probably be eliminated. It's not really concise. So just having the appropriate volume, um, not too much, not too little. Uh, current is very similar to timely in the same manner. So it includes events with the current date and time. Uh, and then usable, you know, so it's usable in different tasks. So it could be printed, it could be machine readable, um, as long as that data is available in either way, so you could use it in different manners, that makes it usable. And that actually is the end of our list. So I hope this has helped you do a review for the exam or uh, whatever you need this for. Thank you.